what's going on, Rizzo's out here, and today I'm bringing you guys my PCL Season 2 Week 12 game against Tone and his Miami Marlins. This will be our last game of the season as we, as Tone has clinched playoffs, but we still want to get this one, and I still want to get to 6-6. Six and six. So, if you guys do not care to see this quick team builder, I'm going to be going over it quick. Just hop right to the timestamp on the right side of the screen, and we will go right to the game. But for the rest of you that want to stick around to see what the hell I brought, let's just jump into it. So as you guys can see here on the right side of the screen, Tone's team bus still consists of Clefable, Nihilego, Porygon Z, Crobat, Seismitoad, aka Seismitome, Z Vickable, Aegislash, Z Hydreigon, Reuniclus, Blossom, and Mega Gallade. So this is the team of six I brought that I think would be best to try to get me my sixth win. I played this as if I was playing for my playoff life. So I brought the best sets possible, but still with my standard creativity in mind. So first up here, we do have Dialga with Expert Oil, Flash Cannon, Dark Pulse, Fire Blast, and Hidden Power Grass. Dialga just does so much work in this game. If I can get rid of Porygon Z, which I don't think comes this time. If I can get rid of Crobat, that's my big thing. If I can get rid of that and get some chip damage on Hydreigon and be at a decent amount of health, I literally can just click buttons and win this game. So yeah, that's Lorenzo that Dialga on his last game. Next up here, we do have Earthplate Flygon with Dragon Dance, Earthquake Outrage, and Steel Wing. Steel Wing helps me hit the Glyphable, which is a great check to this thing. But yeah, Max Attack, Adamant Flygon does some damage. If I can get a plus one D-Dance off and I can get Glyphable around. Next up here, we do have ACDC Scarfed this week with Physical. Drill Peck almost... It like does like 80% to Mega Glade, so any chip damage and I can kill it with Scarf Drill Pack. Steel Wing also is really nice because it hits Clefable. Also, it's Nihilego. Um, Wild Charge is just good physical stab. Select type is really good. And then Scarf U-Turn because momentum. Next up here, we do have Lucid, the Normalium, Zia Zoomerill, Belly Drum, Aqua Jet, Playoff, and Knockoff. This just does a ton of work as well. As you can kind of tell, I'm taking a little bit more offensive approach this game. But yeah. Next up here, we do have the Palindrome coming back for a last appearance of the season. Dazzling Lame Thunderbolt, Signal Beam, and Psy Shock for Assault Vest. Uh, Assault Vest gives me the ability to switch into something like Reuniclus or Hydreigon or like Vicavolt or like Porygon Z. And I can hit it back with a, with a couple of moves, such as like a Stab Psy Shock or uh, a Super Effective Signal Beam or Thunderbolt or Dazzling Gleam, depending on the mod. And last but certainly not least. We have Enigma Berry Synthesis, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, and Natural Gift Torterra. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell is Enigma Berry? Well, the Enigma Berry, as you can see right here, restores a quarter HP after the holder is hit by a super effective move. It's a single use. However, Natural Gift Enigma Berry is a base 90 type physical bug move. So this hits Blossom, it hits Reuniclus, and it hits Hydreigon for super effective damage and can Oko each of them except for Reuniclus. Reuniclus lives on like 10% and I can Earthquake and kill it later. So yeah, that is something we need to keep in mind because that could do some serious work. But I digress. That is going to be our super quick team builder because I am in a little bit of a rush. I have packs and I'm doing this right before I have to go to work. So we're going to hop right into the game, guys. I will be right back. And we are back with our game versus Tone and the Miami Mal Marlins. Again, guys, be sure to go check out Tone. His links are down below. He is in the playoffs. So, you guys, go watch his playoff push as he tries to go for the championship and get Danza to not win that deserved Waffle Maker. But I digress. So, as you can see here, he brought Seismitone, uh, Crobat, Reuniclus, Hydreigon, Aegislash, and the Vicavol. <coughs> so... Uh, I see Torterra doing at least one kill <laughs> with the uh, natural gift. Um, Dialga puts in a metric ton of work. I only see Crobat. So if I can get rid of Crobat, Dialga just comes on and outspeeds everything else that's not Scarf I Dragon. Well, I Dragon. If I can kill I Dragon and get and kill Crobat, Dialga just comes in and clicks buttons and wins. Like it, it's just that simple. But I digress. My plan is just to leave with Scarf, Zapdos, I can U-turn or whatever, or I can Drill Pack the Vicavolt if I need to. So, let's just start it right on off here. As we do have audio this game. Cool. We're going to throw this on here. So, good luck, have fun, Tone. Let's have a good game. You guys can see here, Pokemon Trainer Tone will be challenging us, and we are going to be leaning right off with Zapdos, and we are going to get right into it. His Seismotone will lead right off here, so it's shiny, it's cool, it's here, it's now. I'm leaning off with my ACDC in their last game. Everyone wants to put in their best foot forward trying to get the 6-6 six six record. 
We ended 6-6 six six last season. Let's try to start it now. So he's going to withdraw Seismotone first and foremost. I just clicked U-turn here. I wanted to get as much uh, off as I could. And Hydreigon comes on in. So my U-turn will do a little bit of damage, especially since I'm physical and I'm Scarf. So it does just under half, which is really, really nice. I'm going to go right back into my Torterra. Well, right back. I'm going to go into Torterra to get off this Enigma Berry uh, Nature Power. And the best thing is, he clicks Dark Pulse. So he doesn't have any Ice-type coverage like Hidden Power Ice. So he does not flinch me. I get the natural gift off. And that is a Torterra right there. Killing the Hydreigon. So goodbye, Hydreigon. Torterra picks up the first kill of game 12 of this season. He's going to go right into Seismatone. You're listening. Okay, this man's on some shit. All right. I see him. I'm like, all right, I don't have any grass coverage. So I'm just going to let this thing die and make him think I do. So he's going to click Ice Punch here. He will knock out my Torterra. However... This makes him think I had grass coverage, which makes him think, like, all right, this is only the grass coverage on the team. I'm going to write a palindrome, and he knows the thing is energy ball. I'm going to scare this right out here. I'm going to call his bluff right here, as I am going to predict him to swip, sw swip, swap, swap, swap out into Crobat, as I click Psy Shock here. That Psychic-type move, stab, onto the Crobat, does over half, does about 65%, we're going to call it here. As Saros is going to go right for the U-turn, and I just need this thing dead. If I can get this thing dead, Dialga puts in so much work. I know he's going to probably U-turn here because he has speeds, no matter what. As he's going to go right into Baymax, which is his Reuniclus. I'm like, all right, I see you. Watch this. Psy Shock into here. All right, this is double checking. Now I get to see whether you're Fizz Def or Spid Def, and that is a physically defensive Reuniclus. I'm going to click Signal Beam here just to get some damage off when I can. So, Signal Beam will be doing some half decent damage. Put him just over half. Psy Shock will hit here. As that will unfortunately kill my Palindrome. However, Palindrome did do what I needed it to do. It got damage off of the Crobat to get it down. I'm going to go right into Lucid, which is my Azumarill. And I'm going to click Knock Off here. Uh, knock Off kills this, and it kills anything he, else he might want to swap into. He's going to right into Saros, which is, of course, that Crobat. And Knock Off will come on out here. It'll get rid of its item, and it'll also kill the Crobat. So now that Crobat's dead, Dialga puts in a metric ton of work. And it just it just clicks buttons now. Alejandro, Alessandro is going to come on in for the Malamarlins. I'm going to click Play Rough just to get as much damage and in case he wants to set up like an agility. But he decides to Volt Touch on out, predicting me to swap out. It will kill my Lucid, so there's nothing really I can do about that, however. Damage on this is nice because it means I don't have to risk Fire Blast on it. I can click, like, Dragon Pulse later. He's going to right into Seismatone, and because I get Switch Initiative here, I can go right into my Dialga. So as you guys will see, I do do that, in fact. Now, he is going to make a very, very smart play, I do believe, and scout for the Hidden Power Grass. Yep, he does look for that Hidden Power Grass tech, which is a pretty solid play, and his party's going to go right into Alejandro. However... I'm not a man. I, I thought about I thought putting my uh I thought about putting it on the table, but I'm like, nah. I want to make sure he knows that I got it. So he's gonna click the I'm gonna click Dragon Pulse as now it is within range of it because of that playoff damage. So Alejandro will drop, and so Dialga now is in a really really nice position. So he, uh, Gilgamesh is gonna come on out here the Age of Slash. I'm going to click Fire Blast. I thankfully land it as Dialga will do some big damage to that boy. He will get the stance change off as he will go into Blade Form. He will click Sacred Sword, which this could kill me, but it doesn't because I'm a Dialga. Um, I'm Lorenzo, boy. This is young Lorenzo. You don't mess with Lorenzo Kane. You don't You don't mess with him. He's a, good, he's a very, very good character. He's going to look at Shadow Sting trying to kill me, but he will not kill me. Dragon Pulse will come on out as it will kill the Gilgamesh. So Gilgamesh will faint. Dialga picks up another kill, putting out 14 kills on the season. Seismotone will come on out, and because he knows I have Hidden Power Grass, it's coming down to the fact, does he have Rindo Berry? Because if he does, I might be in a little bit of trouble. However, we don't see a Rindo Berry pop, and we see this go down. So Seismotone will faint. Dial goes at 15 kills. Can we get a one more and close this game out? Close this season out on a good note. The Baymax is just over 50%. Let's see if I can kill it with Dragon Pulse, my most strongest move on this. It just misses out on the KO. However, because it's so low, Zapdos can come on in and finish the job. However, Lorenzo will faint in this last game. However, it does end the season on 15 kills. 
which is awesome. So ACDC says that this is going to come on out here, and because I am Scarf, there's no way I don't kill this with you turn. As that will be your ball game. And the Minnesota Twin Needles. It was Rocky Helmet, by the way, if you guys didn't notice. But Reunix will go down, and that will be your ball game. The Minnesota Twin Needles will improve to six and six, minus five on the year. Um I will have a different video talking about this hopefully next week sometime. Uh, kind of recapping PCL, going over kills, going over games, um, and that kind of stuff. But, like I said, be sure to go subscribe to Tone and check him out. He is a very good friend of mine. He is a baseball fan. He's excited for baseball to come back. He's an awesome guy. And, yeah, you guys should definitely go check him out. With that, I'm going to get on out here today, guys. I gotta edit this quick and push it out. Peace out, Scouts.